30 years ago, on this very day, man first landed on the moon. Gus Grissom's Liberty Bell 7 has spent almost 40 years trapped in a place almost as inaccessible as the moon. The bottom of the ocean, three miles down. Now with luck, Liberty Bell is coming home. Five thousand feet of Kevlar line reels in at barely a foot per second. That adds up to seven hours to haul Liberty Bell to the surface. Then the line goes slack. What's the concern here? Well, they, they thought we lost it there for a minute, but it was just on the top of the swell, and we just got a little slack and some heave in the line. It looks like we still got it. I don't want to lose it now. How you holding up? Uh, I'll tell you in about 20 minutes. <laughs> this is the exciting part. By 2.12 a.m., the wait is almost over. 200 foot. Not too much longer now. 14 years. Kurt's quest and his career hang on the end of a quarter-inch Kevlar line.
good. <laughs> Took long enough. Boy, oh boy, look at that. It's almost perfect. It's just really beautiful. Maybe let's go ahead and touch it after 38 years. There's the famous hatch that we closed 38 years ago. In really good shape. The forward, the forward hatch has come down. It would make, make it easier to get to the uh, sofa bar. Should be able to look right up and see that bomb. Amid the rush to celebrate, Liberty Bell is still armed and dangerous. Well, see, that's all open now. Hey, I know. We took it plain out. I'm not doing any work. No, so I, these I people just, are gone. I know. I just wanted you to look at it. That's all to see if you thought you had good access. I will. Okay. Yeah. Get these people out of here. Let me get it tied down. Explosives expert Hugh Sees takes control of the capsule. While the bomb squad goes to work, the rest of the crew head for cover. 